Tommy and Siebert are on their way to a conference in Africa. People from all over the world are coming here to meet our friends and to see the film they've made about saving animals. Professor Turnbuckle, friend of Tommy and Siebert, has organized this conference. He is at the airport greeting his guests. Nice to see you, my dear. Welcome to the conference. Hello, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. All right, you know what you gotta do. Tonight that brat Tommy and his stupid seal will be showing films of their efforts to save animals. You got to get in that theater tonight and switch films. I will no longer sit by and watch that kid get the support he needs to save animals. If he ever succeeded, I'd be out of business. So, get going. And remember, when you've made the switch, bring his film to me. Good day. Hello. Yeah, but, uh, oh, welcome to you, sir. Yeah, thanks. And now the Russian delegation is here, landing before the Netherlands delegation, while the silhouette of the Swiss plane is seen, immediately followed by a dune buggy. A dune buggy? A dune buggy. Oh, there they are. My dear friends. <laughs> Tommy, how wonderful to see you again. Hello, Professor. How you doing? Fine. How are you? Or isn't with you? No, she stayed in Greenland. Oh, what a shame. <coughs> and Seabird, I didn't see you. I followed your successes in the newspapers and on TV. The turtles, the whales, the elephants. I'm proud of you, Tommy. You're famous throughout the world. And Seabert, too. Mm, well, let's talk more about the conference. Of course. Come and see the setup. There it is. I'm happy that you and Seabert could make it, Tommy. It will mean so much to the conference to have you here with us. Seabert and I wouldn't have missed it, Professor. Ah, uh, here we are, the auditorium. This is where the conference will be held. Excuse me. Like I said, we're a little behind. We'll open the conference with our film on endangered animals. Would you like to see it? Oh, yes, very much. Good. You can give me your opinion. Gangway, step back. Let's watch it through the viewer. There she goes. Our film. Oh, no. Seabert, what are you doing? Hey, look out, the film. Enough, Siebert. I thought you were more mature. You've already seen this film. It's only a picture, you know that. Don't scold him, Tommy. This proves we've made a good movie. If everyone reacts the way he has, it's not too bad. The film isn't damaged. Nothing a little splicing won't save. Good day. Ah, good day, my friend. I'd like you to meet Tommy and Siebert. I would have recognized them. I'm a big fan of yours, you know. Oh, we're not doing anything unusual. We're just helping animals. Mr. Stendhal is the organizer of our conference, Tommy. Oh, by the way, I've just received a very disturbing phone call. Someone wants to sabotage the conference. Bah, some mean prankster. A leopard hunter no longer allowed to hunt, or someone like that. After all, we're close to the biggest reservation in Africa. I'm still worried. Well, we just need to be careful. Come on, we've got a lot of work to do. 
sabotage the conference, that could destroy our image. We can't let that happen. Isn't it cold in here? It's the air conditioning. I'm sorry. Now the film. Not this, not this. Aha, this is it. Now I'll switch the films. signs of sabotage. Do you, Seabird? Seabird? Seabird! Seabird! Have you seen a seal? No, no, a real seal. Where's Seabird? I wonder where he's gone to. Guess I'd better keep looking. Oh, there he is. Seabird, I'm coming. What are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. Come on, Siebert, that's enough. Leave the film alone. This is no time to play. We've got to find the person who's trying to sabotage the conference. Tommy, you two got here just in time. We have reason to believe the saboteur is in the building at this very moment. He's here? But where? I haven't seen anything suspicious. <laughs> Gee, 
see, Seabird. You sure have ants in your pants today. You needn't pay any attention to him, Professor. Now he's spending his time playing with the rolls of film. Seriously, Seabird, help us. We must find this saboteur. If only Seabert could talk and tell Tommy and Professor Turnbuckle about the man he saw with the rolls of film. Who was that mysterious man? Does he plan to sabotage the conference? If so, how will he do it? And what can be done to stop him? On the opening day of the conference, Seabert is still the only one who knows that trouble is on its way. He must make Tommy and the professor understand they are to stop the saboteur. Thank you, friends, so many of you from so many different places for attending this conference for the protection of animals. Whoa, excellent! With this film out of the way, tonight's dignitaries are going to be treated to a show they'll never forget. Now, when do I get my money? Relax, you'll get your money. But not until the new version of the movie has been projected for tonight's audience. <laughs> That's one show I wouldn't miss for the world. <laughs> now get out of here. I expect to see you there later. Before beginning our show, I wish to introduce you to our guests of honor, Tommy and Seabird. Oh, thank you, Professor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tommy. And now I declare the conference officially open. Throughout the entire world, animals are in danger. This film will show you some of the most flagrant cases. Projection, please. The world is populated with hundreds and hundreds of cute furry little animals. In fact, there are so many little animals on this earth that it would be difficult to count them all. If every animal on this earth were to shed its coat, the resulting fur would fill many truckloads. Believe me, I should know. This is the coast of Greenland. These baby seals have beautiful white fur. Truckloads and truckloads of beautiful white fur. Believe me, I should know. The same goes for all the other animals in the world that yield beautiful, expensive skins. Take alligators, for example. I always felt a large alligator bag was the perfect way to carry baby seal skins. Clever, huh? And whales. Ooh, what an extreme waste of space they turned out to be. Let me tell you, these big fat lumps of spouting lard displace a great deal of water. Once we've removed these huge blobs from our oceans, we will find the oceans will lower, providing us all with much larger beaches to enjoy ourselves. Oh, and let us not forget to show our appreciation for those hard-working hunters. These tireless workers often share the thankless job of turning ridiculous animals into cold, hard dirt. We've got to get the real film back, Tommy, for the sake of our reputations as animal lovers. That's an angry crowd out there. What do you suppose we do? I've got to get them to listen to reason. Oh. Listen to me, everybody. That was not our film. Please believe me. Seabird, I understand everything now. You weren't playing with those rolls of film. You were trying to warn me. Whoever did that must still be here. We can't let him get away, Seabert. Look for him. Find him, Seabert. Culprit, 
It was you who called. You changed the film roles. You stole our film and substituted yours. You want to sabotage the conference. This kid's crazy. I'm a spectator. I haven't done anything. Besides, you have no proof, you. I have a witness. He saw you. Someone saw me? I'll handle this. He's escaping. Stop him. Come on, start, you dumb machine. There! His Jeep won't start. Quick, Professor. Go, Tommy! Let's get him! Darn, if you don't start, I'm gonna... Let's go! Let's get him! Quick, Seabird! The dune buggy! Go stand somewhere else. Elephants? What's wrong with these stupid animals? Why are they in the middle of the road? Scram, pachyderms! Go on, get away, you fat blobs! Get lost, stupid! Get off the jeep! You better get down now or else! That sack of fur is stronger than I am! Oh no! What's this? Buffaloes? I better get out of here! Ah! Ha! Whoa! Ah! A seal is saving me? If it weren't for Seabird, you'd be in big trouble. Do you still want to kill all the seals in Greenland? No, no, I'm sorry. I was a fool. I didn't know. I thought animals were useless, that they were idiots, but they are kinder than humans. I wanted to sabotage the conference because... Because Graphite told you to. I did it for the money. Graphite told me I'd be rich if I stopped the conference. You must return with me now.
So, thanks to Tommy and Seba, the saboteur has been apprehended. But the man behind this evil plot is still in this very room. You can do it, Siebert. Go and find him. Go on, get away, you. Graphite! Don't let him get away. Hold on to him. Where's our film, Graphite? Film? Oh, yeah, the, the film. Well, the, 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 what do you know? I just happened to find the film right here. G gee. Men, take this graphite fellow off to the proper authority. Wait, I have a better idea. Let's make graphite watch our film for a change. Since its creation, the planet Earth has always been a wondrous place, full of life in every form. For millions of years, the creatures of this world lived together in a special harmony. The natural system, as delicate as it was, managed to constantly rejuvenate itself and keep this planet green and beautiful. Graphite has been taught a lesson. Even so, there is more animal cruelty which Tommy and Siebert must stop. So don't miss the next exciting episode of Siebert.